Well, gentlemen, today I'll share with you what happened to me the other day. Well, I went near my tailor to stitch a pant for me. And while I was there, I was observing someone. And that person came there to stitch a suit. And the tailor asked that guy, what type of suit you need? Do you need a two piece, a three piece? He asked him that question and somebody else came and the tailor had to go and attend the other guy. Now this person whom the tailor asked what type of suit he needs had come with his friend. So they were left alone for a few minutes to decide. Well, since I was standing very close to these people, I could hear them talking and they were laughing and giggling and discussing among themselves. What is two piece? What is three piece? And guys, they didn't know what type they suit they wanted. They only knew that they wanted a suit. Well guys, it was a funny moment. I tried to help them a bit and they were very happy about it. And it also gave me an idea for this video. Well, in this video guys, I will give you all the details and it will be a complete guide on how to buy or get your suit tailored. Whether you are gearing up for a special occasion, upgrading your professional wardrobe or simply want to look sharp. Well, in this video, I will give you 11 points on which you can decide what type of suit you need. My name is Dyson and welcome to my channel. So it is going to be a very very helpful video guys. So see that you like the video now only and if you are coming on this channel for the first time, see that you subscribe. So guys, the first thing that you should have in mind when you are going to buy or stitch a suit is on what occasion you are going to wear that suit. If you are going to wear it for a wedding, business or whatever it is. So once that is clear, we can move forward with all the points. So pause this video here only and comment below on what occasion you are going to wear that suit. Come on guys, take action because it will help you to remember. And with that, let's jump into it. Number one, two piece or three piece suit. So guys, first let's see the difference between a two piece and a three piece suit. And guys, two piece means it's pretty obvious. It is just a jacket and your trouser. But when it comes to three piece, it is a jacket, the trouser and there is a vest inside. So if you are going to wear that suit only for business purpose, then you can go for a two piece suit. But if you are going to use that suit for weddings and business as well, then you can go for a three-piece suit. Because on a three-piece suit, if you don't wear the vest, it becomes a two-piece suit. So guys, now you know what is a two-piece and what is a three-piece suit. On that, you can decide what type of suit you need now. Once you have decided what type of suit you need, we can move on to the next point, which takes us to the second point. And the second point is right fabric. Now guys, fabric plays a very important role when it comes to the costing of the suit. Quality fabric will obviously cost you more. What I would suggest is if you have a good budget, then go for a fabric which has a stretch in it. Because guys, when you buy a fabric which has a stretch in it, even if you stitch a tight fit suit, you can still be comfortable in it because the fabric stretches. Also look out for the design on the suit guys. The more the design, it will fall in the casual category. So keep it simple. So now that you know what type of fabric you need, we can move on to the next point. And the next point is very interesting point guys. It is the color. Well guys, I know, I know that color is the most exciting thing to choose. But if it is your first suit, then you better be careful on what type of color you are choosing. Also, it will increase your costing depending on what type of color you choose. Light colors are expensive, I guess. That's what they told me. Guys, at the moment, I will recommend only four colors and those are black, navy blue, gray, brown, and beige or tan. I recommend you these colors because you can mix and match all of them together and you can get more than 50 combinations guys. But if it is your first suit, then black is the ideal option. But if it is a special occasion and if you want to look different, if you want to look odd, then you can look for odd colors guys. But when you wear that odd colored suit for many occasions, it becomes very obvious guys that you are wearing that same suit. So take your time to choose the colors see what options your tailor have as nowadays they have a lot of options guys because the rest of the things come only after you choose the right color once you choose the right color let's move on to the next thing and the next thing is lapel lapel is like the color of your suit guys guys let me tell you this when i went to buy the suit for the first time i did not know what a lapel was it is some 15 to 20 years back guys the tailor did ask me what type of lapel i want but i didn't know what options i had I remember him showing me some options but it didn't go in my mind what he was asking. But now you don't have to be ignorant guys because I will show you what type of lapels are there. Knowledge is power guys. So guys there are three main lapels that you should know. And all the other variations come from these three main lapels. It is the notch lapel, the peak lapel and the shawl lapel. The notch lapel can be your first suit guys or your business suit. 
It is pretty common guys and it is defined by the notches that they have created where the collar meets the lapel. The peak lapel will give you a much bolder and a formal look and it is easily defined by the upward peak that it creates at the joint. And the shawl lapel is the most formal lapel guys. So if you are a groom or if you are attending a very formal party, then the shawl lapel would be the ideal option. And the shawl lapel is specially reserved for tuxedos and is usually defined by connecting the two lapels around the back of the neck with one continuous curve. So guys, once you decide what lapel you want, then you can move forward with the next thing. And the next thing is behind vents guys. By the way, if you are getting value from this video, then see that you smash that like button and remember to subscribe. Okay, now what are back vents? Well guys, back vents are the vents which are there on the back of your suit. They can be single or double. I like the double vent guys simply because the way it looks. Also on a single vent suit, when you put one hand in your pocket, it opens up the back part and it will expose your pant. There is nothing wrong in that, but just keep a note of that. So once you are done selecting the vents, now you can move forward with the next thing. And the next thing are the buttons. Guys, when it comes to buttons, you have many options. You have the single button suit, you have the two button suit, you have the three button suit, you even have the four and the six button suit. But in this video guys, I will talk only about the single button, the two button and the three button suit. The two button suit are more common and a versatile option. They are suitable for various occasions guys. You can use it for business as well as for the weddings. But the one thing that you should remember of the two button suit is always button the top button but never button the bottom one. Then comes the three button suit. The three button suit fall on the traditional side and has a formal look. And the rule that you have to remember on a three button suit is sometimes button the top button, always button the middle button and never button the bottom one. And then there is a single button suit which is more sleek and modern. Also look out for the buttons that you need on your suit as there are a lot of options. The more designer, the more they will cost. And those same buttons can also go on your sleeves right here. So choose wisely. If it is for a business, then you can go for ordinary ones. But if it is for a wedding, then you can go for the designer ones. So once you choose all the things about the buttons, you can now go to the next thing. And the next thing is the pockets. Now sometimes the pockets have dual function guys. As you guys can see, you can put them out like this and use it as a flap or you can put them directly inside and use them like this. Whichever you like, if you like some modern, then you can use this style. But if you want something classic, then you can take out the flap and use like that. So I won't stress much on pockets guys. The only suggestion I have is don't make extra pockets. Three pockets in front and one pocket inside is good enough. Because sometimes they do an extra pocket here and then the suit falls in the casual category. So once you are done choosing that, you can move on to the next thing. And guys, before you go to the next thing and guess what is the next thing guys. Pause this video and write in the comments below first what you think is the next thing. Come on guys, pause it and write below what you think is the next thing. And number 8 is the fit guys. It's the fit of your suit. So if you choose all the things correctly which I have told you previously in this video. But if your fit is not right, what do you think will happen guys? Yes, it will ruin your entire look. So choose the right tailor who is known for his good fit. You can either go for a curved fit or a straight fit. But there are certain things that you will have to know when it comes to fitting of the suit. And the first thing is fit on the shoulders. It should end on the corners of your shoulders like this. Nice fit on the chest, nice curve on the waist or if it is a straight fit then nice good fit. The back vents should be nicely done. The length of the sleeve should end at the wrist bone and the length of the suit should be just touching the fingertips like this. Now the tailor automatically does these things guys. He will take your measurements and stitch the suit according to your body. But if by chance he makes a mistake then now you know and now you can correct him. And now if the fit is not right in any of the spot then you can tell him to adjust it and do the necessary alterations. Because now you are knowledgeable guys. And once you are done with that, you can move on to the next thing. And what can be the next thing guys? The next thing is your pant fit. No matter how good your jacket is guys, if your pants are not matching it, then it is of no use. Your overall appearance will go down the drain. And now you can choose from three options guys. And those are skinny fit, baggy and body fit. What I recommend is the body fit guys. It is neither skinny or baggy which makes it the best option. Because if you go for the skinny pants and if you have thin stick like legs, then just imagine how funny it will look. The big jacket on top and two tiny skinny legs. It will look very funny guys. On the other hand, if you wear baggy pants on the suit, then you will look like a joker guys. 
So go for the body fit. Once you choose that, you can move on to the next thing and the next thing is back pockets. Yes guys, the tailor will ask you how many pockets you need at the back, whether you want single pocket or two pockets. Well, it all depends on the functionality guys. If you are using all the pockets, then see that you make two pockets on the back. But if you don't use them, then see that you keep only one pocket at the back. It is all about functionality guys. There's no point in keeping too many pockets if you don't use them. But if you are going to use the suit for business, then see that you keep two back pockets because I know all those pockets will be used for something or the other. And once you do that, let's move on to the last thing guys, the 11th one. And the 11th one is the length of your pant. There are four types of lengths that you can opt for. It is the full break where the pants are resting fully on the shoes. Then there is the half break where the pants are just touching the shoes. Then there is a no break where your ankle part is slightly exposed and your socks can be seen. And there is a gap between your pant and your shoes. And the last one is cropped where your major part of ankle is exposed. What I recommend is either you go for a full break or a half break because once you have that length, you can shorten it by going to a tailor and altering it. But if you already have a cropped pen, then you cannot extend the length. So guys, I feel that is a lot of information. And I feel this video deserves a like, a share and a subscribe. So guys, my humble request. If you like this video, then see that you like and share with your friends and family. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then see that you subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos. Till then, this is Ryzen Fanai signing out. Until we meet again.